All right, well, I guess while we're down here, we do need to find a new outpost, right? So I don't know what kind of building we want. I'm not doing too well. Is anyone out there able to help me out? Well, I guess we'll find out when we head over that way. On my way to you. I do... Get here as fast as you can. She sounds a bit in trouble. I do need to check Jess into the infirmary. And when I get the chance, that's a, uh, a juggernaut there. Okay, we maybe want to lead that away from the base. Oh yeah, he sees me. Yeah, but I can't exactly check Jess into an infirmary we don't have. So it just makes sense to go off and do something while we're waiting for that to be built for him. Wait, this is going up to the fortified truck stop, which is where we were just living, right? We just moved bears from there? Oh well, for all time's sake, since we're not going to get to do it very much anymore, we'll take the jump. I wonder then if my old cars are still up here too. Because there was the trekker, yeah, and the bug out vehicle, they're both still there. What are you doing here? We got a distress call from this area. That wasn't you, was it? There's nobody here who needs help. Nice idea, though. Wait, what? That is a little bit confusing. You're cannibals, aren't you? I guarantee you're cannibals. Okay, do any of you know about electronics? Because if you do, we need to keep you alive. Well, hello. Nope, nothing so far. They've got to be cannibals, surely. Someone here called for help? You are a hearty and hill looking one. They're cannibals. I'm sorry about that. I have no idea what to make of this. Yeah, I'm done out here. Heading back. Hey. Learn about you. That's just mechanics, not auto mechanics, and not electronics. Okay, I'm having a look around. There's somebody, like, in a fridge. Isn't there? There has to be. I wonder then if we're going to get another call pretty soon. Alright, I want to check my bears. We are losing 9 food a day. We're gaining 1 meds a day, gaining 2 ammo a day, gaining 2 materials a day. We're even on fuel. Yeah, so we really need to go and capture some kind of food outpost now. We could even justify losing the ammo outpost. Yeah, we get 1 from the survivors we're helping. So let's lose that. There is the swine and bovine down here we could grab. I'm tempted to go over this way. Grab the Tartan Mart. So that I can clear out this outpost too. Not outpost, the infestation rather. We'll just snipe off the screamer there. Didn't even need to get out of the damn car. I will get out of the damn car however because we should be able to get some materials from this. Get off my Vandito, you twat. Oh nice, we found a bundle of materials already. Toolkit, a jug of pesticide. Can go in the garden, wonderful. A Molotov, pyrotechnics, small 12 gauge. We don't really need the ammo, but considering we just lost an ammo outpost, we'll take it. I'm also quite full in the car, I didn't even realize. Awesome. Oh, Lumpy found some frag grenades. That's a bit of fuel there. We do actually need that for the Vandito. This thing seems to drink fuel like crazy. Okay, I'm gonna drive over to the Tartan Mart and make an outpost there. It almost feels like a waste going after the infestations when I can't loot the buildings that they're, you know, infesting. Field hospital completed. Wonderful. Oh, it's almost boring when it's this quiet. So we'll claim this. The outpost is up and running. Oh, actually, I always forget about this, don't I? You can just drop all this stuff in here like this. Well, that went down. I got an achievement for doing that, but I can't see what it is. So where's our next infestation? We got these ones down here. It does take a bit of time, but it's a, a necessary sacrifice to make sure everybody back home is still happy. Oh, there's another one right there. Let's just deal with that. There 
Damn, this Vendito is real good at these multi kills. There is another Screamer inside, though. No, you know what? Let's just go and shoot it. Yeah, shooting it would be preferable. Oh, there we go. We'll just execute to finish that one off. Like zombie coming in, dismember. Oh, we got one arm off. It's like a little med case here, which has cotton balls. We can sell that for a bit of influence, considering we have like none left after claiming an outpost and the new base. We did just get a mini fridge there, though. Got a Molotov. Oh yeah, so maybe we could put running water in one of the um, one of the bunkhouses, and then put a mini fridge in the other. That's everything looted out of here. I did also get a utility textbook, which means I could teach somebody utilities, which I think is what I need to make the farm, perhaps? Like the big one? And I'm here, so I may as well just go and deal with this last infestation. It's for the morale, and it's not going to take very long with the Vendita and the shotgun combined. All right. Oh, they have all come out real quick, haven't they? Alright, time to go to work. Okay, I don't think we need to worry about infestations for a while. No, we don't. We dealt with them all. Is that a body, like, messing with the door there, making that sound? Yes, it is. Okay. We can ignore that, then. Always trying to creep me on the way out, aren't they? Well, I just found a bit of fuel in there. Nothing much. But fuel is fuel. So now we can just head south from here. There is an infestation across the road from our base, which means we can go deal with that. Like, right now, pretty much. And then I think that's everything apart from one infestation done, which is the one right near the southern exit to the map. Wow, look at all the trees that have been cut down up here. Well, I think we know where all the lumber that we have at base has come from. And it's from all this crap up here. Damn, that is a big bit of deforestation going on. I don't exactly support this kind of stuff, but needs must in the apocalypse, right? Now oh, there's a feral coming in. Okay, maybe this was a bad idea. I got out of the car expecting the feral to just run straight at me, but... Yeah, there it is, it's coming. Just drive into it to make it jump out of the way. Alright, hopefully it's followed me down. Okay, maybe not. Uh, let's use the bandage in here. You do not want to crash into these things. They do a ton of damage to your car. Now. All right, that one took a couple shots. Oh no, that's that's bad. Jess. We have to be literally punted out of the way. That thing. Feral down. Screamer down. We need to heal up. Here he comes. It's a big old boy. Oh god, we might not actually have enough ammo to do this. I might have to kill the big boy with my sword. Not oh, stop that. Damn, this girl's fast. Yeah, eight shots left. This horde is being a bit problematic. There we go, the multi-kills are good. That's it for my ammo. 
Alright then, we're gonna have to deal with this thing. If you think I'm running as well, you are sorely mistaken. Alright, come at me. Oh, I was trying to run past him there. That clearly didn't work. Okay, do some kind of attack, which... Yep, incapacitate yourself. Okay, that was a big hit. Let's put the car between me and it, heal up. Oh, also the infestation's gone, by the way, in case you are curious. I mean, that much was obvious, given all the crap that just charged me outside. Here we go. Okay, we can take those hits. We do have some bandages. Okay, perfect. Damn, that was unnecessary. I didn't need to take that one, though. Alright, here it comes again. Ooh, that, that's not good. Um, ouch. Okay. Get around the corner, heal up. I don't think we want to take any more of those. Do I have any guns in the car, maybe? Quick check, quick check. I've got a Molotov. Oh no, these things don't actually get affected by fire though, do they? I forgot about that. I guess maybe they take damage from it? Okay, yeah, they definitely take damage from it. Just not very much. And my sword's almost broken now, too. Okay, we're so weak that it can just knock me over. Yep, Vendita, you're up. Never mind, you just batted the Vendita out of the way. Okay, back up. Here we go. Wow, the car just bounced off of him. Yeah, the Vendito is very heavily damaged. Okay, definitely damaged him, though. Yeah, Vendito can't keep this up. I desperately need ammo. This isn't me running, by the way. This is me picking up ammo. I've got ten shells here. Look at him just running around in circles. How is he still face tanking all of this? Okay. Time to heal again then, Jess. Oh, we are really limping around now. Okay, we might be about to die. Get something between us, heal up. Finally. Good God, those things are a pain. Okay, that's two toolkits and a can of fuel into the Vendita now. Definitely need to get Jess into the infirmary. I also need to break down a bit of ammo, actually, and hopefully get some more shells. Alright, we do have nine manpower to manage now. So our barracks are fully upgraded. The network started small, but we're growing every day. We can't help everybody yet, but we're getting there. Keep the faith. Guess twin made it to the uh, new broadcast tower then. Until we get more storage in this place, we're gonna keep losing shit like this. What is it we're still losing? Is it fuel? Are we over on fuel? We are over on fuel, aren't we? Uh, thirty-five. Oh yeah, because we had plus one hundred off of that fuel canister before. Yeah, we need to load some fuel up. So that's that tapped out. We're at plus zero per day, which is fine. We're at capacity, and we can always find some more. Food is still minus eight per day, which is bad. We really need to get some more of that. Meds is minus one per day, which is fine. We can deal with that, I think. We've got plus one per day on ammo, which we really don't need, but it's a uh, an enclave bonus. Plus two materials per day is good. I think we do need that. Okay, I think indoors we definitely want to build some hydroponics. 
So we need to check people's skills. We've got mechanics here. Clerton has medicine, which we can specialize. Oh, and she's been leveling up her shooting by, um, by firing off the walls, I guess. Uh, we'll get pathology. So, Jack, you need to learn utilities then. I should pull the utility books out of the storage. What are you carrying? No gun. So you also need to get a gun too. So what are they stored under? Here we are, utilities textbook. So we can use this with F. I guess it's never too late to learn something new. And in here we can now build. Oh, we need water and power. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think we do still need to find somebody who knows how to use electronics. But anyway, we're going to switch back over to Ogle to finish that quest off. So where are we headed? Up here. By the Hobson Falls maintenance shed. So she was camped out behind us all that time, and nobody noticed. Yo, anyone wants to trade? We got the goods. Oh, where's this trader? Okay, we're going to finish this quest, and then we'll go back to look at that. They might have some decent base mods for us. It might even have a vehicle upgrade kit, so that we can upgrade that SUV that I want. To get the, uh, the smash wagon. I think I kept calling it a slam van or something before. And we may as well just run stuff over as we go, because we could do with the influence for the trader. And I do need to make a mental note there too, we can take all of the luxury items that we've accumulated at base over and sell those too. You know what we could do as well? We could create a large bundle of the blood plague cure. We could also not crash into stuff all the time. But yeah, that'll give us a lot of influence. So if I check the field hospital here, craft, luxury cure, yeah. Let's just get this twat off my car, there we go. Because we have a ton of samples and nobody's actually gotten infected properly yet because I've been managing it well. Yeah, I reckon we could definitely justify using a lot of that to make a bit of influence. Okay, more zombies coming in. Okay, here we are. Uh oh, guys. I hear a lot of zombies. I have a bad feeling about this. So a ton of zombies just spawned right over where Uncle's aunt was. I can find my aunt's favorite gun. I guess I know she didn't make it out of here. Okay, we have floating corpses. My favorite kind. Why a bear physics when you can just straight up defy them? This is the Preppers 1022. So it's a 22 caliber rifle with a 50 round capacity. Damn it, she's gone. If I'd only deciphered the plan faster, maybe I could have saved her. Now all I can do is make sure the supplies she left behind are put to good use. It's what she'd want. That's another one of the uh, rifles there. It zooms, it has a suppressor. And it has a 50 round capacity, which I think is rather unrealistic, but that does mean that we wouldn't ever have to carry a separate stack of ammo if we were using that thing, right? Now then, I reckon I want to go around and try and poach some people, right? Oh, everybody around us are cold apart from the entrenched survivors here, so I'll check them and see if they have anybody who knows electronics. And this is a shame because they're the people giving me my ammo, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So we do have a spare outpost slot. Let me just double check our materials. We still need food. Meds is not as much of a pressing concern. Though we are going to steadily run out of them. So where else up here would be a food outpost? A fruit stand there, I guess. Not very secure, I know, but it will still be an outpost. And it is, of course, the food collection that we're interested in here, as opposed to anything else. And, yeah, I'm looking at the survivors over here. I want to see if any of them know how to use electronics. I think we also need knowledge of electronics to build our next command center upgrade, right? Hey. So they know about computers. Hey no, I'm not trade. Fishing? Grass Maybe that gives us some passive high. food income. Hey, you. Business. Should we recruit them? It's the only friendly enclave around. No, my community is at maximum size, so we're going to have to get rid of somebody. So let's check everybody's skills. Lumpy does construction for us. Shiniqua does recycling, which means we get a lot of parts for free. 
which I'm happy about. Dorgan gives us max health, consumables, and craftsmanship. Caitlin can cook. All we require that for is making things in the kitchen since we've already got one built. So I might have to exile Caitlin. Jay's worth never getting rid of, ever. Mackenzie knows music, which gives us morale and influence. So that's not too bad. We've just taught Jack utilities, which we do need. We've got mechanics on Urkel. I don't think we're going to get rid of Urkel anywhere. And we've got pathology on Clayton. So yeah, Caitlin, you're going to get exiled as soon as I figure out how to do it. Oh, hang on. Hold X. Mark survivor for exile. I still need to approach them in person. Well, that's a shame because then I'm going to have to come all the way back over here. So that's just like a... An attack out of nowhere, there's a juggernaut right here. I'm counting that as a win. Right. Well we do have a zombie attack coming in. I won't get rid of Caitlin until we've repelled the attack. She can help us with this first. I hope you're all ready, the Zed sure are. Is that another feral? It's an armored zombie, I can't deal with that with a gun. I'll deal with this. I think the Juggernaut's coming into the base. I was also hoping to close that door with me on the other side of it. We have a screamer on the loose. Okay, all of you keep him occupied. I'm gonna grab. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, this one. We do have this big 50 cal rifle. Yeah, I'd say that was a good use of it. I see a screamer. Oh god, this is a really big siege. Oh, that missed. Two of them. Okay, I need another big gun. Okay, Arctic Warrior 762. This is the best we've got at the moment, I think. So is anybody actually dead yet? I think we're screwing them up actually. Like we're doing real good. This zombie attack is over, but we need to protect ourselves better next time. That definitely could have gone better, but we didn't lose anybody, so it definitely could have gone a lot worse too. Alright. Caitlin. We really appreciate your help in that massive, massive attack we could have all died in. Uh, but, you know, the fuck out of her. You were poisoning the soul of this community. You are done. Seriously? You wouldn't even be alive if not for me. Oh, well, and where she goes. Is that affected morale, maybe? No. Everybody's incredibly happy right now. That's pretty good. Now we do need to check Urkel in, but not quite yet. We can go back down and get our computer expert from... Oh, actually. We're here to trade first. What are these selling? Craftsmanship, utilities, pallet storage solution sounds very good. They've got three packets of materials there. Why can't we sell this? Oh, they have influence too. So if I buy the pallet storage solution and those, I can then sell the plague cure to them. Okay, we may as well take all of the materials here then. But that bulk plague cure being worth, um, 500 influence is actually huge. 